So you want to sell products or services online? There's two products that really do a good job in WordPress. And these are WooCommerce and Shortcut. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at both products and see which one is for you, saving you a lot of time to try and experiment or do some research. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. If you were to take a look at these two websites, I'm sure you couldn't tell which one was WooCommerce and which one was a shortcut. But what I'm going to show you next is going to blow your mind. Now, how shortcut works is you install a plugin as normal on your WordPress website. But what they've done differently here is they have a server that handles all the processing that happens on your website. So this is now a two way communication. So as you can see here, if someone wants to purchase here, all that handling is happening here on the actual engine, the shortcut server. But when you take a look at WooCommerce, everything is happening on your website. Now you can imagine the processing is going to make your website slow. So you would need to have a very good hosting system in order for you to run a WooCommerce store smoothly. Now let's take a look at the settings page. So as you can see here, this looks way much cleaner as compared to what we have here with WooCommerce. And there's a lot more to go in and configure here. You have your product settings, your shipping payments, and so on. And over here, everything is all in this drop down, and it is very, very easy to find. So Shortcut definitely has a much modern look to their design. But what I'm really interested in here is the products. So let's head over here to the products. So to get there, you just need to click here on products and then let's go into the settings. So definitely, as you can see, Shortcut is way, 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 way much easier to uh, look at. It's way much easier to, uh, to work with. And this is very, very simple. Now you also have uh, the option here for downloads. You also have uh, integrations here, licensing. Okay, so now let's take a look at the products. So when we take a look at the products here, we see that uh, here it looks uh, like it's integrated into uh, WordPress, which is okay. But again, there's just too much information to add in here. Now, when we take a look here at Shortcut, you can see now that this is much easier to look at and it looks much simpler. But what I'm really interested in here is the pricing options. Now, out of the box, if you click here on this drop down, you notice that we have different pricing options. In fact, let me click over here to add another price. So here we have a basic plan. Now, if I click here on this drop down, we also have installment and subscription. All this is absolutely free. Now, if you wanted to do the same with WooCommerce, you would need to purchase a plugin here where you have to pay $23.25 monthly. So as you can see here, out of the box, Shortcut is giving us a lot of features. In fact, this is one of the most important uh, because this is an online store. So I definitely give Shortcut a big thumbs up for this one. Now, if you wanted to sell digital products with WooCommerce, all you'd have to do is to come over here and select downloadable. And as you can see here, you can add your file and some of the options here are limited. But then again, still, if you look here and you're a beginner, there's quite a lot of things here that can be very, very confusing for you. Now, let's take a look at Shortcut. Now here, it is very, very straightforward. So first of all, you choose your pricing plan here. And uh, if you wanted to choose whether this was a digital product or a physical product, all you'd have to do is to come over here and select it. And just like that, it's pretty much done. Now, if you wanted to add your downloadables, all you have to do is to scroll all the way down here and add your downloads. Okay, so this can be an external link or a secure storage. So what really gets me uh, thinking here is if you just wanted to sell a digital product, really, would you install WooCommerce? That'll be way overkill. And this is why Shortcut now is definitely becoming very, very appealing. Now, the biggest disadvantage with WooCommerce is if you wanted to add any extra features to your WooCommerce store, all these come in a form of a plugin. Like, for example, if you want to add cut abandonment, you would have to come over here to the plugins and add a new plugin for the cut abandonment. If you wanted to add sales funnels, again, you would need to add a sales funnels plugin. Now, while we're talking about sales funnels, for WooCommerce, you would need to get something like Woo funnels, or you would have to go with cut flows. Now look at this. This is the price here. It's 99 per year. So all of a sudden now the prices or the cost starts adding up if you go with WooCommerce. Whereas if you were to now take a look at Shortcut for just $19 a month, you are now starting to get your order bumps, one click upsell, subscription saver, auto fees, discounts, custom email address, and then, of course, you can remove the shortcut uh, branding and so on. But 
The free option has one of the biggest features, which is your free or paid trials and setup fees. And you also have subscriptions and installments. And of course, you can sell digital or physical products. And by the way, we spoke about cut, ab cut abandonment. It's right there for you. So you don't have to install extra plugins for Shortcut to work. So definitely when it comes to speed, Shortcut will outperform WooCommerce by far, making your website super fast. Now let's talk about Gutenberg blocks. So with Shortcut, it also comes with the blocks here. So you can see when you search for Shortcut, you have your Shortcut columns, you have your cart menu icon, the store logo, the buy button, add to cart, and so on, which is brilliant because you can now just create a page and add all these wherever you want. Now, if we take a look at WooCommerce, they also have the blocks. So you can see here when I search for Woo, they have product search, uh, product price, all products. Now we have quite a bit more over here because definitely this is focused on the products themselves. So you can see here newest products and so on. So when you install shortcuts, you also get some default pages. So when you take a look here, you get your checkout page, your dashboard, and you also have your shop page. So you don't have to really go in and uh, design these pages as you're setting up your store. And this is what it would look like. And if you had your products, they, all the products would show over here, which is pretty straightforward. Now, WooCommerce also does the same thing. You have your checkout, your home, your my account page, and you also have your shop page. And again, if you click on view, this is where all your latest products would show. So on that front, pretty much it's the same uh, sort of layout. Now let's talk about integrations. So if you wanted to add any sort of uh, extra functionality to WooCommerce, as I mentioned before, you would have to go over here to your plugins and add extra plugins. So things get very exciting when you get to Shortcut because Shortcut integrates really well with Short Triggers. So with Short Triggers, pretty much you can automate anything with your store. And again, this is running from a server. This, these are not operations happening on your actual website because again, it will make your website really, really slow. So connecting this is very, very easy. But take a look here. If you look here at the pricing, we have zero dollars, which is free forever for 1000 tasks, tasks per month. And this is pretty much really, really good if you are someone who's starting off. So as you start growing and you start getting more customers, I'm sure you'll be able to afford $12 per month. Whereas compared to uh, WooCommerce, you're sacrificing the speed of your website because you're going to end up with 10, 15 plugins all trying to run your WooCommerce store. And if you're a beginner, this can be very, very complicated because you're going to be dealing with a plugin, your plugins crushing or your incompatibilities and so on and so forth. And trying to troubleshoot all these problems can be a real headache. Now, I'm speaking from experience because right now as we speak, I'm converting my WooCommerce uh, engine to Shortcut because I'm really sick and tired of a really, really slow website and it is just so much, so much to customize and I have to do a lot of research to try and fix things when they go wrong. So when it comes to uh, the integrations, this is how you would create them. You create a workflow here. And I mean, like I said, you can pretty much connect this with anything. We have Google Docs here, Google Sheets. You can connect this with Fluent CRM. You can compare, connect this with MailerLite. Now, can you imagine how many plugins you would need? Because what happens with short triggers is you can create a workflow which does three, four, five, six tasks. And these are happening externally on a totally different server, not running on your website. Now, this is fantastic. Now, when it comes to WooCommerce, you would have to install five plugins that do five separate things. Whereas over here, it's a workflow. These are things that are working in one go when they're triggered. So this is why I like the combination of short triggers and shortcuts. Okay, so what are we getting with shortcuts? So definitely we have blazing speed. As I mentioned earlier on, Shortcut is running a server that controls all the processing and all this processing is not happening on your website. As a result, you're going to have a super fast website. Next, we have pricing options. So here we have different types of pricings. We have subscriptions, installments, we have basic payments. So all this is absolutely free. Next, we also have payment processes. So out of the box, you can connect Stripe, WooCommerce, Molly, and there's more coming 
along the way. The fourth thing is it is very, very easy to use. Now, if you want to take your store to the next level and you want to add a sales funnels, this is where now you can start deciding to go on the paid option, which is only $19 a month. So instead of adding another plugin that does your upsells and downsells and so on, you can just have this feature by subscribing $19 a month. Next, we also have better integrations. So with integrations, again, you don't have to install plugins upon plugins upon plugins to add more features. All you need to do is to connect Shortcut with Short Triggers and pretty much you're good to go. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.